Prior to this video, we used a spare USB flash drive to write the OpenElect installation media using a different computer. This video starts by booting the ZBox from the flash drive with no other drive in the computer. Installation stalls for a while at this point. This is a good time to insert another USB flash drive that will be used for installation. Feel free to skip to around a minute and 15 second mark as nothing else will happen before then. Acknowledge that this software is beta, then select the quick install of OpenELEC. You should be presented with the USB drive you inserted during boot up. We then selected no at the partition table type, but did activate the SSH server when asked. Whether you want to enable SSH is a personal matter. If you do not know anything about SSH, then leave it disabled for better security. You can always enable it at a later time if necessary. Installation is mostly complete. Select Reboot, then immediately remove the installation media while it reboots. You should now be booting from your new OpenELEC flash drive. The first boot may take slightly longer than subsequent boots as it initializes a few things. If booting takes much longer than in the video, then you may be using a flash drive with slow read and write speeds. You can test USB flash drive speeds before installation for best performance. Using a slow drive for the first installation media is not a problem, as it's only used once. However, it is better to use a flash drive with respectable read-write speeds for the running of OpenELEC. Welcome to your XBMC Eden Media PC. Next, we need to configure sound and add some video sources. Mm -hmm. 